Hey everybody, welcome back to Alpha Protocol. So, we're done in Rome. Before we head off to our next destination, I think we need to... customize a little bit. Eh... Uh, The five o'clock shadow, the beanie, there we go, should be good for where we're going next, and quick check to make sure all the emails have been fucked, oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, dropping line for... Ah, uh, it didn't... It didn't save this at the end of the last, uh... At the end of the last set. Okay. Yeah, we got that taken care of. Off to Moscow. Alright, use the safe house to prepare for further missions. Alpha Protocol Safe House in Moscow, which should serve as a base of operations for attempting to track the path of the missing missiles that were shipped to Saudi Arabia through Moscow. Also, yeah, letting, uh, well, I won't talk to the cutscene. Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Nice digs. I see where all that Black Ops funding really goes now. Invoking Alpha Protocol does have its upside. Jealous. Of you freezing your butt off in Moscow? Not so much. Although there is a certain appeal to sitting in that loft drinking cocoa while you are crawling around in the snow. Ooh, you're a cruel woman. All right, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori, and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important, although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads, too. Getting the lay of the land would be helpful. I'd rather not walk into an ambush if I can help it. Smart plan. Call me when you have anything. Sorry, Madison. Oh, don't feel sorry for Madison. Yeah, if you choose to save Madison, then... Yeah, the bombs do go off. There, There's no other way around that. The bombs will go off, and then she'll get mad at you because you let all those people die and blah, 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 blah. So she gets mad and breaks up with you anyway. So, fuck it. Alright, hi Mike. Weird, I thought pirates just existed in history books and bad porn. Shows that I know. Yeah, there's definitely a story here. I'll get cracking and see if I can have my editor get it printed in the States in Europe. Eh, only a thousand terrorist fun bucks, but... Speaking of terrorist fun bucks, what do we got here? So got the Luton Gloopin. Luton Gloopin. So, don't really have a whole lot of... Oh, yes, Intel. Intel and Dimitri Dragon. Dragon is known for high-ranking... Okay. Additional supplies added to mission area. A disgruntled guard is willing to divulge the whereabouts of hidden caches if the price is right. Sniper rifle dead drop. Dossier information on VCI, purchasing okay. Contact Grigori the informant. Dossier information on Grigori, purchase intel will expand dossier on one of Moscow's most influential underground information brokers, Grigori. Assault Lazlo's yacht and retrieve mission advice. Bribing Lazlo's security staff will no doubt yield helpful information. Okay. Well, there goes all our terrorist fun bucks. Alright, so what do we got? Uh, 
Russian Mafia. Organized crime has a foothold in almost every corner of the world, and Russia is no different. In the wake of the collapse of the Soviet Union, however, the Russian Mafia bolstered its rank with corrupt intelligence agents and soldiers from the Afghan and Chechen wars, making them even more dangerous. Yeah, VCI. V VCI mercenaries are, with little exception, former enlisted soldiers, the U.S. Army, Mazi, and... That's just air or whatever. Our main contributors of VCI manpower are the VCI recruiters prefer soldiers with dishonorable discharges, borderline types that won't find employment in nonviolent occupations. Eh, fun. Aggregory. Grigory Pazanov uh, has existed in the background of the seedier side of the city for decades, feeding choice bits of information to the interested parties for the right price. An educated man, he received his degree in physics and philosophy from Lomonosov Russian or Moscow State University and graduating to the top of his class. Grigory has a reputation for accuracy, but not for discretion. He is reportedly will as he is reportedly willing to give up contacts and the names and locations of anyone requesting information if the price is high enough. Whatever his intent, he has a talent for what information to divulge to whom and for how much, and reportedly has gained and lost a small fortune as an information broker and a contact for black marketers in the weapons trade in Moscow. Though factions within Moscow have not always been happy with the intel Grigori has provided, his insider knowledge has kept him in good standing with whatever groups have had power. More recently, since the faction of the Russian Mafia he was closest to has changed hand, he has withdrawn from mob dealings, but is far from retired. So he will sell your ass out. Oh, we got more shit on Leland. No, I never read anything on Leland. Born in Newport, Rhode Island, Henry Leland's involvement in the Helmbeck Corporation began immediately after he graduated college. When his close friend and rent mentor, Robert James Helbeck III, hired him as one of the top executives of the company, Leland's ingenuity and business strategies did not disappoint. From his hiring in 1977, Leland was able to make wise investments and use his own connections to secure numerous profitable contracts for Helbeck, speedily working his way up to the position of chief technology officer. Henry Leland made $250 million last year between his salary at Halbeck, his investments, and various other unreported means. A lean year for him. Profits have been in decline since 18 months into the Iraq War, where contracts shifted from large-scale construction and conventional military vehicles to small-scale security. Halbeck has yet to transition to the needs of a counter-terrorist war. They made their profits off of Cold War missile technology and orbital missile defense satellites. Ah. Do I? No. Although I'm 815 experience shy of a level up. Okay. Off we go. Uh, let's go see what Grigori's up to. Let's see. Grigory frequents local dive bar in Moscow. See what he knows about Halbeck or any major players in Moscow. He acquired a dossier on your target. Eh, Alright. So I should have a reputation as a smart ass. Welcome to Moscow. You are fresh from Rome, yes? Terrible thing, terrorists. But if you keep them from blowing up the target, then it is good. I take it, Mamma was hurt. Not exactly. I feel honored. Your first time in Moscow, and I am your first stop. What brings Michael Thornton, world traveler, to this humble bar? Do we have to jump right to business? I could really use a drink first. Then you are lucky you've come to a bar. I am short on cash, so you will have to make your own way. That go for events going on in Moscow, too? And here I thought we were not going to jump right to business. <coughs> I wanted to ask you some questions about Halbeck. 
and the weapons they've been smuggling through Moscow. You are here conducting an investigation. Very interesting. In a sense, yes. Halbeck's involved in serious arms trafficking violations. I want to stop them. Interfering in such things is dangerous in Moscow. But you must know this. That's why I need all the friends and information I can get. <laughs> Friendship is good, yes. Getting killed, not so good. I guess it depends on whether you're a gambling man. To gamble, Mr. Thornton, one must have money. I'm a little short on funds right now. I don't think I can meet your price. That is too bad. My price still stands, however. Maybe I should investigate you instead. You are joking. Anything but. I'm after Halbeck, but if I find out you're involved with them, then I'm bringing you down too. I have nothing to do with them. Then you won't mind me digging around and checking with my contacts to be sure? I am innocent, but I do not need the distraction, not at my age. What is it you wish to know, Agent Thornton? I want to know who Halbeck's working with. That is a difficult question, but I know someone who would know the answer. There is a man, Sergei Serkov. He runs several businesses in Moscow. He may know who Halbeck is dealing with. Sergei Serkov. Running a check on the name now. We're getting a lot of hits. He shouldn't be hard to find. Although, judging from his contact list, figuring out where his next appointment is could take some time. All right, I think I can wait a little longer. And there's a few other leads I'd like to track down. You were planning to investigate Leningradsky Station, yes? Maybe you can do me a favor. A favor? Your American missiles are not the only cargo that comes through the station. If you go, maybe you could divert the shipments accidentally, of course. What, you mean change the shipping labels? And me without my label, nigger. It is more simple than that. The box destination is stenciled on the side, but it is a code. Change it with a marker, and the boxes will end up somewhere else. To a friend of ours, who will be happy to reimburse us, maybe do a little business with you. I'll think about it. What more can an old man ask for? <laughs> Agent Thornton contacted an informant in Moscow, a man by the name of Grigori. The two of them met in a bar where Agent Thornton questioned him concerning Halbeck's presence in Moscow. Grigori was easy to deal with and seemed to respect professionalism. He provided Agent Thornton with the name of another contact who could help in Moscow, Sergei Surkov. Grigori may be willing to sell the same information about Agent Thornton to others who act professionally. He may even warn Sokov. Name of Sergei Sorkov obtained. It should be able to help Agent Thornton learn more about Halbeck. Also, if you you can get really violent with him and basically kind of like bust his nose open, and he will fucking run and tattle. There's a pretty good chance he's probably gonna run and tattle anyway. What was Street Talker? Did I even get? I didn't even get any experience for that Street Talker. Five percent gadget discount from Grigori. He dealt with Grigori in a straightforward professional tenor. He knows you mean business and will supply you with high tech supplies at a discount, trusting you'll provide him with steady income. So we gotta Hey, new store items. I found this for you. Caught something in the filter I think will interest you. It was sent from Grog at muscatel.ru and sent to an account I recognize as a dummy account for receiving emails to the U.S. State Department. You'll be interested to know that an American is looking for Surkov, and I'm quite certain he's not acting in any official capacity for the state. I'd increase your security right away. Uh, Mr. Thornton, while you are, of course, encouraged to spend your money on Inventory. I am an information broker first and a legal weapons dealer second. I've added your clearinghouse credentials to my short list of buyers. You're free to peruse my wares and issue buy and sell orders as you see fit. Dude! You see? 
A 50 caliber pistol? You see 50 cal. Mm. And the UC Cossack. Which I'm guessing is also 50 cal, just a better 50 cal. I might buy that just so I can have a 50 cal. Because it would be fucking stupid. It's like, look what I have. Boom. Linear pistol compensator. Don't really have pro. Oh, that's a muzzle. Streamlined frame. Uh, too bad I have don't have any fun books. Well, I can't really assault Laszlo's yacht. I'm a little well. I could. A little short on fun bucks, though. Investigate the weapons shipment. I got all the intel for this, though. Halbeck's prototype missiles are being moved through Leningradsky Station in Moscow on a cargo train on the cargo train burn. Find the train and search for clues as to its destination. By the way, Hassani, how terrible are the Russian accents in this? <laughs> oh wait, I think this is where we meet the uh, German chick. boxes you are crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Hmm. You must be that American agent I've heard so much about. The little bird told you that? Grigori is no bird, darling. You should be careful who you speak to. You are the one who caused so much trouble for poor Conrad in Rome, yeah? He tried to kill me first. I think we'll be fast friends, darling. Conrad and I, well, we have our professional differences. So no love lost between you two, then? In this business, there is no love to begin with. Here to catch a train? I'm here looking for the Halbeck missiles that were smuggled through Moscow. Oh, <laughs> very truthful of you. Bad practice in our business. Uh, yes. might want to restart this. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets. I think your hair is clipping through your face. Then, they didn't take many bullets. You, I'm not so sure it would be as easy. No, I it's your beret. It's clipping through your head. I'm here for the head. same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get what we want. I wonder if... Stay out of my way, and we'll get along fine. Huh. I accept your terms. Do not harm my men, and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then I understand your terms, yes. You are such a man. So difficult to pin down. We shall see what the future holds, then. But for now, I need to restart that conversation. Yeah, I need to reload that conversation and bluffer. Head out then. Boy.
If I remember right, I think she has the same voice act. I think she's the same voice actress that did the voice for Naoto and for Persona 4. Yes. You're getting pwned by one person. Must be a small army out there. And I only have paintball gear on. Uh uh uh. Come out, or I'll shoot through those boxes you're crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Hmm. You must be that American agent I've heard so much about. The little bird told you that? Uh, I'm clipping through my own armor. Shit. You should be careful who you speak to. You are the one who caused so much trouble for poor Conrad in Rome, yeah? He tried to kill me first. <laughs> I think we'll be fast friends, darling. Conrad and I, well, we have our professional differences. So no love lost between you two, then? I, wait, I... In this business, there I is bluffed. no love to begin with. Here to catch a train? Oh. No, missed my stop and got off the wrong station. That is true, yes. God damn it! But what is with we you? Talk. I do not want to shoot you. As I only have Maybe so I need to be points. aggressive? Could have fooled me. Then, they didn't take many bullets. You... I'm not so sure it would God be easy. God damn it. Hang I'm on. Close. Must be a small army out there. All right, let's try this again. Uh -huh. Come out, or I'll shoot through those boxes you're crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Hmm. You must be that American agent I've heard so much about. The little bird told you that? Grigori is no bird, darling. You should be careful who you speak to. You are the one who caused so much trouble for poor Conrad and Wait, do you? Yeah? Maybe that's not her hair. Yeah, Maybe that's... Kill me first. Hmm. <laughs> no, her forehead is clipping friends, through her, darling. her beret. Conrad and I... Well, we have our professional differences. So no love lost between you two, then? In this business, there is no love to begin with. Here to catch a train? No, missed my stop and got off the wrong station. That is true, yes. God damn it! I fucked it up again. But we should talk. Brad and I, well, we have our professional difference. Try this again! So no love lost between you two, then? God damn, I hate fucking up conversations. In this business, there is no love to begin with. Here to catch a train? Let's ditch the interrogation. You're here for the missiles, so let's not play games. Darling, I do not play games. And apparently neither do you. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you. As I only have so many bullets. Could have fooled me. Then, they didn't take many bullets. You, I'm not so sure it would be as easy. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are. To find this Halbeck. We work together, we both get what we want. Stay out of my way, and we'll get along fine. Huh. I accept your terms. Do not harm my men, and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then it sounds like a deal. For now. That is good. Because I think we have come. All right. Uh. Who's, who's a dick? Who's a dick? Angry! Who are the guys in the tracksuits? No idea. They may be guarding the shipment. Uh, trying to get in her good graces. Don't want to. Fuck that up. She's one of the picky ones. I think you have to mostly be aggressive with her. Hmm. All right.
right, Terror Tango Fun Bucks. Looks like I've walked into the middle of a turf war. Hope you're not planning on getting involved. May not have much choice. Just remember why you're here, Mike. What kind of guns is who shooting off? You got a Hi, how are you? I'm gonna try to fuck your boss later. Or, well, something along those lines. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Boop! Ah! Pretty sure they're all fucked. And not in a good way either. Hacked a security system, but not sure what it was for. Looks like it's unlocked some doors to the neighboring building. <laughs> I hacked some shit. Don't know what it is, though. Anyway, what do we got? Uh, I think we got more thing on uh, VCI. <clears throat> VCI mercs rely on a variety of state of the art weapons and their armor. Features generous use of anti-fragmentation plating, such as such grenades and explosive rounds are substantially less effective against VCI opponents. <laughs> this plating, however, conducts electricity well, making shock traps especially useful in taking them down. And sigh. Eh. Not much is known of this operative other than her status as an ex Stasi. Stasi, eh, whatever agent. And a long list of conflicts in which she has been spotted, usually partaking in the action. Director in, re records indicate she was recruited into East German intelligence at a young age and trained it to be an elite agent. Side bears no love for Conrad Marburg, despite the fact she works for VCI. Something that angers one will make the other will dispose to the person responsible. So basically, go fuck with Marburg. Wants me to go that way. But I want to go. I'm going to go this way. Anyway, after the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna take your shit. Take all your shit. A 
I'm in, and I've discovered where the weapons are going. Upload the data. I'll pass it along to the authorities. Huh, cool. Anyway, after that long bumbling mess of fuck-ups, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.